Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of I Am Legion for Dying Light 1 and 2. My name is Jason, the creator, and tonight I'll be working through this latest update. So, uh, kind of an oddity, I think this has only really happened once or twice before, but we have usually, so just to explain how they usually do the versioning with the game, one of the things that's one of the most asked questions that I usually hear is, uh, why do I have in the notes about this legendary P value at the end of the uh, version? And that is where they usually have an event that's currently going on that releases its own version of the code into the game. And so because of that, sometimes your mods can be disabled because of the code that they're injecting during runtime. Well, what we have right now is a new type of update where we have 1.9.4 C which is interesting because usually it ends at 3C before they release the next big update. So they've gone ahead and released a new version. And so because of that, once again, we have to go through the painstaking process to update the mod. So tonight I decided to go ahead and stream that out. So I'm gonna go through and show you my process, talk about the current and latest version of the mod, talk about some of the roadmap coming up, some of the upcoming new content that I've been working on and some exciting new changes uh, and bugs that I'm continuing to work through. Uh, so just wanna get these out into the community and also update the mod at the same time. Huge shout out to all my Patreon supporters. Again, that's been taking off. Thank you guys so much for your donations and support of the mod. I truly appreciate it. Thank you for helping keep this mod alive. So we're gonna go ahead and start diving in. So if you're new to the stream, uh, over on the far left side, upper top corner is the extracted files. Lower left corner is gonna be the mod. Lower right corner is always my source folder. So if you're always wondering where you're installing the mod, if you're using the installer, again, I would recommend utilizing those videos that I've uploaded for the installation guide, troubleshooting, and for the mod config. But if you uh, also are just curious really quickly what the root is, First, there's a new manual that's also been re uh, released online. So if you go to the Nexus, there's an entire installation guide that's on there now. But if that's still not enough in this video, I will let you know that your root folder is gonna be where your Dying Light 2 file uh, or game is installed. So if you are still looking for it, I will always have uh, kinda the root and then two deeper in pH source. Uh, so if you're ever wondering where I'm at, that's that's where I'm located. So I'm inside the game's main folder here. So let's go ahead and start diving in. So first and foremost, I'm gonna go ahead and bring up WinMerge. So what I, what I like to do is first I do two types of compares. First I do a comparison against all three files or all three, which is the newer version, the last version, and then my mod to see what's changed overall and then I like to do a comparison between just the old and the new versions of the game so that I can kind of go through and see what they've changed, new new content, things that are kind of hidden in the code and so I talk about those as I go through here as well. So first and foremost it sounds like we have an Easter event coming up which I'm sure many of you already know uh, but there's actual uh, Easter eggs in the game from where there's uh, an Easter event which is kind of cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and start crawling through here so I can get this latest version out while I talk about some of the ongoing development. So let's get to a first jumping off point here. So it looks like really we have a couple of changes to some of the actual models. I might have to check to make sure that that, this has happened before where um, some of you may have noticed the changes on some of the biters. They ended up with different faces. Um, that was due to them changing models on the back end. And so it looks like most of these are gonna be good to go. So we're gonna be starting down at presets. So let's go ahead and go back to the comparison between the mod and the updates. And we will start down here at presets. We'll also remove show identical as that's not really needed. So presets. And then first one is gonna be, really I think it actually is gonna be down in descripts, which was nice. We didn't actually have to go and redo a lot of this code, which is always nice. So as I'm crawling through here, one of the things to always keep an eye out is you're kind of watching for these line changes uh, across 
uh, and really big core chunks of code that have changed uh, or are missing. So in this case, down here at the bottom, uh, there's a good amount of code that's missing from uh, my mod and from the uh, older version. And so we're gonna wanna make sure that this gets added. Uh, it's usually easier to switch back to a normal view here so that we can see. So it looks like they've added some very specific things. They've got some names get coming together for this latest DLC that's coming up. And I don't think I'm spoiling anything by saying that it's gonna be a frontier experience. Super exciting. I'm excited to see what they do on the outside world there. So let me make sure that I copy all this over. So let me get started on some of the updates here. So the last couple of updates that have come uh, for the mod have been centered around trying to iron out some bugs, but then also doing some quality of life fixes. Uh, so in this last version, uh, I was able to go in and actually update those cap that capitalization system. So we now should have uh, better capitalized characters uh, for all the new custom content. Uh, this goes a long way with trying to set up the um, all the new content that's coming. So I have been working a good amount on new content for you guys. I understand uh, that as we're waiting for these updates to go, it does get kind of uh, repetitive, you know, playing the same thing. So continuing to work on this new content for you guys. So the next, um, the next one that's coming for you guys is I have several new custom bows that are getting ready to drop. Um, all in all, I have 27 new bows that are coming to uh, the world here very shortly. Uh, a total of nine new legendary bows, each with unique characteristics, and um, a total of, I believe, 18, 18 more standard bows, each with its own characteristics as well. So what I've done is set up a tier system for each one that basically you will now have four different types of bows per tier. Uh, each one has its own unique attributes, um, attributes that allow you to kind of decide your play style with a bow. Um, for example, if you want to have like a long bow, then a long bow obviously will do more range, but it'll take more time to draw. It'll do things like penetration through multiple targets. Uh, and then you have like a swift fire bow, which is designed to be able to rapid fire, but you lose accuracy, you lose some of your damage, um, those kind of things. So that kind of balancing is coming out for the weapons here soon. I have a lot of ideas for a new mod system along with uh, by that I mean weapon mod system along with uh, that over that armor overhaul that I've been working on. So there's a lot of different things that are coming through the mix and what I'm trying to do to get ahead of uh, planning is to go ahead and get that roadmap out to you guys so that you guys are aware of when different things are dropping, when to start checking back and when to expect certain updates to land. I'm super excited about this new update that's coming. Um, just because it's really going to allow me to uh, to play in a different environment uh, and then also create some new content uh, for that environment that's outside of the city. That's pretty exciting for me. Uh, and so looking forward to that. That is an explosive egg. Can't wait to see that. And so also while I was talking here, I went ahead and set up this new um, branch. So everything as I go is getting dumped into a new branch, which that way as I go, I can go back and make sure that certain things didn't get overlooked um, and do uh, easier testing. And so that's why that was set up that way. So with this new roadmap, um, I'm trying to make sure that I'm not over I'm not missing any new uh, features that I've constantly been working on. So there have been several features that have slowly been uh, progressing over time. I am trying to now turn back and make sure that each one of those features is given its own uh, month or time bracket uh, where it will be completed during that time. I'm also trying to make sure that as I go each one of these uh, different documentation steps are taken so for a long time there and I do apologize to the community there were so many different updates um, 
happening over a short period of time. A lot of this would come from, you know, an update that would break the mod, having to move very quickly uh, to make sure that that update was, uh, was out and in that time was not able to do the documentation to really support it. Uh, I have gone through and created this new online document. If you've not seen it yet, head over to the Nexus. Um, and I will also mention that the uh, original game, the Dying Light 1 game, has also received its update as well. So there's also a newer version. That's also ongoing. There's a part two that I'm continuing to work on. If you head over to the uh, Reborn mod, there is the official manual and inside of there, uh, and I believe it's 36 pages, 39 pages worth of content. Uh, this took a lot of time to kind of piece together and really I was trying to block out some of these areas. First, some of it's not finished um, and then some features have not been fully fleshed out. So more content coming there soon. But the biggest takeaways is please utilize, utilize this for the installation guides, uh, for any quick questions, if you want a good breakdown of what you can get from the Patreon, if you want information about what each feature is trying to do. And I'm actually really happy with it. This summary, these update summaries, I was able to get the actual videos tagged to each version and kind of break down a summary of what was done during that update. Now that is not going to include every single update or feature change that was done at that update, but it will kind of help, you know, summarize how the mod has progressed over time and what those major changes were, which uh, it was kind of fun to go down memory lane from 0.4, which I didn't start a change log for the ver first three versions. So it was fun to go from 0.4 um, all the way up to 1.3. A lot of changes uh, it's been a busy year so let's go ahead and continue back here so next is gonna be I don't think we have the state controller so additionally uh, one of the things that's kind of been a big distractor recently is that I have been working on trying to get a better uh, system worked out for modifying the map. So I have made some discoveries on actually being able to change and modify the map. And because of that, uh, I've had to spend a little bit more time trying to go in there and find uh, specific things. Uh, but I've made some pretty good progress on that. And some of those updates will hopefully be coming out shortly, but some of that is more experimental. Uh, I am turning back to the base building feature along with the armor overhaul. The armor has sat there way too long, going back, trying to go through and every single piece of armor uh, will receive an individual name. And uh, a lot of these small little bugs will be worked out with those. I know there's some visuals that have still not been fixed. There's a couple arms that are glitching and that kind of thing. Um, there is still not a fix for the material issue between the custom armors and the default armors where you have that visual see-through issue. I had a couple of options that people suggested such as, you know, putting some base gloves or something to where those spawn as well to help prevent the clipping. The problem is, is that would really only wor work with like one pair of shoes, one pair of gloves. Um, and so because of that, if you have uh, different pairs and that kind of thing, it's going to continue to mess up um, some of those details. So I am still looking into that and trying to figure out the best way uh, to continue to update these models to where that's not a problem. That's something that is definitely uh, prevalent across all of the custom meshes. Anything that is not vetted by the company, and I don't know what they're doing to finalize those materials, but you'll notice that there is for any new content that's added to the game by modders, uh, you will always have this issue if you grab a ladder or you do anything. There's this visual clipping issue that happens with those materials. Not sure why that is entirely um, and why that wasn't fixed, but uh, it is something that I haven't really found a good way to, uh, to mitigate yet. Uh, and when I do, you'll be the first to know and I'll fix it and we'll move on from that. Another one of those bugs that's lasted in there way too long. So for this one, let's see, switch this view. It's ridiculous that the, uh, the mod breaks because uh, of chicken content. I have to go get some chicken content in before 
we can continue playing the game. Oh, I see. So they've they've had it in there. They just moved some things around here. And then also say cut to the right. part all of these things are supposed to match up so um, one of these thing uh, one of the efforts that was made here was to go and actively set all custom content to its own custom files so that way easy merges could be done um, if you haven't seen my easy merge uh, or my ver merge video yet up here at the top is the actual mod com compatibility here so as I'm going through, I'm just able to very easily update the fields that are down below. And let me make sure, basically I just do a quick once over for any syntax errors um, that slip through. It's always one of those things that it's easier to just check as you go. loot and I haven't quite figured out how to how they remove some things um, I haven't quite figured out or I can't remember if I did or not doing the loot systems actually I think I did figure those out as well so I think those are also on their own system uh, for this as well. So those shouldn't be an issue merging. Let's just say inventory. Uh, that's not what I wanted. There's gotta be like, a, I forget the hot key to move it all the way over. So let's see, left to right, left to right. What's happening there? Interesting. For some reason, it is messing up that hotkey. All right, to dive back into some of the other things from the roadmap while I continue to do this. So on top of the bows coming out, there will also be some new weapon updates as well. So I've also figured out a good way to Go through and start updating uh, the different weapon systems as I mentioned the mod uh, system but then also 
on top of going and setting up custom weapons, there's also this effort that I wanted um, to set up that's going to be based around trying to establish new, what is this issue here? Um, what is happening with this? Getting some very interesting bugs here. Um, yeah, it did. Put it in there twice. Okay. Um, I'm also looking at a weapons crafting system um, that will help pair with the survival system and a few other systems that I'm working on. Um, and so continuing to look at the best way to add all of those into the game at once. Uh, it's one of those deals of where trying not to jump ahead too quickly and especially with things with the inventory uh, it's been a challenge supporting um, supporting those different ones or supporting these different updates and new improvements into the inventory due to issues that have happened previously um, with uh, versions having save game bugs you know the different things that are uh, sometimes occurring inside the game. I want to continue to avoid those, um, obviously, so that we're not having to deal with those. And so I'm having to be kind of selective about the things that I immediately put in the mod, uh, and then also kind of pacing myself for some of the new content uh, and timing that with the new updates. So let's see here. I'm going to try to focus in a little bit more. I apologize here on this menu stuff, or not menu, apologize, the inventory system. These are the ones that usually break the game the worst. So just gonna focus in for a second here while we get these updated. Okay, that's everything in inventory. Looks like some things inside of trading, which is always fun. Bizarre. I've never had Wind Merge uh, do that before. As if things aren't confusing enough. Changing those lines like that. Yeah. Weird. Yeah, we're going to keep that like that for now. And, okay. Shop assortment. So what was the other one? It was redeem docket, which is not on there. And the rest is going to be the story. So down to story main. Think there's any changes here? Okay. And that was actually pretty easy. So based on this, I believe that should cover it. So we'll go ahead and launch up and make sure that's working as expected. That should be good. 
then may have to fix some things with the GUI. There's some GUI changes I've been making lately that may cause some issues. Did they finally fix the physics mesh? It's fun one if they did. Okay. So I believe that's all the changes there. So I think they were specifically setting up some Easter things and adding some new content here, but that should be it. Looks like they're also staging for the upcoming DLC. So one of the things I've added in that I haven't had a chance to fix yet. So let's go and go to scripts, inventories. I've got a new bug with my bows. So let's go ahead and pull those out really quick. Let's save. They're currently causing the inventory system to have a have a glitch there. So and then also just to test and make sure that that's working still. Ahead and update this to 4C. And this is now going to be D3. Or if I can get the bows out tonight, then there'll be E. They probably could use some more balancing. I don't think I'm going to release them tonight with the new content. Seems like I would be jumping the gun or jumping the bow there. Okay, go ahead and launch. The fact that he doesn't have any armor kind of, I think I have a bug. So let's see, while that loads, go ahead and pull this up and let's go ahead and just run through all of the inventory files really quick here. Well, first of all, I showed up in a wrong location wearing all the wrong gear. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say that, that messed up. Okay, but with how broken that is, hopefully that gives me a good error log. So for the next part, let's head over to documents. And we're going to dial line two out logs, sort by latest. Hit error. There we go. So it's going to be 6,000, 6,500 here. So say close, close. And then let's go scripts, inventory. Um, my guess is that I have deleted the clothes I did. It's always a fun one. Okay. That was just from my deleting of the bows. So let's go in here and say, there we go. Launch.
game crash. Huh. Oh, and you know, also probably gonna have to run the installer again because the update probably also wiped out. So let's go in here and say run, do survivor, install, and then back to here. Let's go ahead and move everything, throw these back in. Okay, so I can turn back to, to talking about the roadmap, some of the known bugs, things that I'm working on while this is launching and we're going through all the bug testing. So a couple of known bugs. So with the expansion of the AI system, there have been AI bugs uh, that have continued to persist. Um, wow, okay. So just a blatant crash. It's new. Very interesting. Uh, potentially could be caused by the Patreon content not being updated. Let's go ahead and kill that. Um, a couple of those bugs, as I was mentioning, so the AI has had to be expanded. With some of that, I've tried to maintain the actual tutorial stages so that any of the quest AI, any of the tutorial AI, they maintain a very vanilla basic uh, AI so that way you can continue to complete quests, continue to get out of the way. Um, but for the open world area, I've continued to do updates to the AI uh, with some of those changes. Wow, okay. So with some of those changes, this is actually a new one. Let's make sure that this is on a file verific verification issue. Um, with some of those changes have come some balancing issues. Thank you guys again for reporting. Uh, so currently the known ones are that the stun is not working. Sadly that, that, one, that one's not like straightforward where I can just go in there and say like allow stun. Uh, sadly, it's like more of a timing thing with the AI. Wow, okay. So it really is. Um, so I've tried the last couple of times to, to fix that issue, but it's, it's very, the AI is very complex at this point. And so because of that, I'm having to kind of slowly go through there. What could it be here? Because um, it was, let's kill scripts. Because if it was the inventory issue, and head over here to logs and see if we've gotten anything more. Nope. Always fun to see new types of bugs. So it was a script. And my guess is, is that it's the inventory still. And this is why I wanted to get quiet earlier. I apologize again for that, but inventory is always where all of this gets kind of iffy. So let me go ahead and clear that. My guess is this will now launch. Um, so continue to balance out the issues for the stun block or the stun parkour. Um, there's also the issues that's been reported about kick. So in the last update, I've reduced the kick cooldown or uh, increased the kick cooldown so that way the AI would are less likely to use kick. This was something that was turned on specifically because uh, I wanted to make shove and kick more common, especially when the AI is fighting the zombies um, because it is the best way to actually take out the common infected. Um, they get thrown off their feet pretty quickly 
and uh, wow, so it was not inventory. Okay. Let's go in here and just wipe out bottom area there. Those should have been everything that received an update. Um, so the, that's with the kick. There's also the issue. So uh, player reported the other day that the aggression issue is back with the PK. Uh, I was a little surprised by that because uh, with this last update, I thought I got the PK aggression bug. Please continue to report that if that is an actual bug that you're seeing. Uh, just because obviously, uh, I, you know, if I think I got a bug, then uh, it, become, it kind of falls out of my uh, scope as I continue forward. Uh, so if that one's still in there, just let me know and I'll continue to iron that one out. Uh, for the archers, so uh, as someone mentioned, as I mentioned a second ago, somebody mentioned that the archers are shooting pretty rapidly, especially the renegade archers. That's because their health is set up in a way that if you get close to an archer, you can pretty much, it's not one shot, but you can pretty much take an archer out pretty quickly. I have not finished out the code to allow them to switch weapons, so, uh, and that's mainly due to the fact that when they do switch weapons, uh, they, it causes kind of this weird weapon offset bug that some of you may remember. And so due to that, um, I've been trying to leave that alone, um, and so I've, I've left that alone. But the problem that I'm seeing now is, is that what that leaves is it'll, it'll leaves this um, this whole issue with the fact that if you get too close to Bowman, they're essentially, you know, just immediately slaughtered um, due to not being able to keep up with the... Uh... So what is this? I mean, is it just me or is like... Let me say refresh on here because that that's definitely the first time I've seen wind merge act so weird. Um, so that's something I'm continuing to set up um, for Bowman so that Bowman are able to kind of hold their own ground. Uh, the idea behind a Bowman is that it's the same thing as a gunman on the first mod. Uh, so if you see a gunman on the first mod, you usually don't run straight at them. You usually get behind cover use the environment to your advantage kind of thing that same thing is uh is going for what that is um it's really strange considering that was all copied over line by line it's uh it's actually kind of struggling tonight so i think i'm going to take an in the interest of saving time here, let's go down to scripts. But all I was going to mention for the Bowman is, is that I'm going to continue to try to set up um, the ability to scale that through the difficulty. Um, so if you're playing on normal difficulty, if you're playing on hard difficult, uh, sorry, normal difficulty or ultimate survivor, uh, then you can expect Bowman to behave more deadly. Uh, if you're playing on casual survivor, uh, then they are less likely to actually use that behavior. Um, and so they'll probably be more, uh, they'll be easier to take down for sure. That's just something that I wanna to continue to try to play with and continue to try to support the AI having some interesting things that make them unique uh, because currently they feel very, what is causing that? City. I'm sorry, I'm actually just very confused by what is happening here.
can honestly say I think wind merge is finally shit the bed for some reason. Hmm. Interesting. I'm actually going to close those down and open wind merge back up again. You know, I have not seen that issue before. I'm not sure I really, I really understand what's going on there, but let me swap these two around. I'll go ahead and open a new one up here. And then let me go in here and make sure that this is truly getting updated properly. I mean, I can see why this would have caused a crash. I mean, it pretty scrambled there. Collectibles definitely got a bug. So, go back down here to, glad I've got this on video because, you know, if you're following along, there we go, it fixed itself. N no idea. Um, so if you're following along and you use wind merge, you know, just be aware that some of these things can be weird like this sometimes. No idea what that's all about, but let me make sure that everything else is set up correctly here. So it was damage definitions and then player appearances. That should be everything so I'm gonna go ahead and try this again not sure why that got so screwy earlier but definitely explains an engine crash I get it sorry engine so with those minor changes in the AI and then with the issue with the aggression coming back, obviously that's a bigger problem. I want to continue to hear from you guys what's going on with the aggression so that we can iron that out. Um, I still have the upcoming bandit overhaul along with uh, the Colonel's Men, which is going to be its own, hopefully DLC sized update. Um, so that one's going to pair well with the actual update to um, interesting that one's going to pair well with the update to the world map the being able to edit the maps um, so i have several changes there but they'll also go through some visual upgrades um, and then for the bandit overhaul the bandit overhaul has kind of been held off the renegades got their update um, along with a couple of new factions that were meant to help support the idea of trying to modify the map uh, i've turned back a little bit to where the bandit update is going to update the ability um, to find factions inside the world and those factions have unique and um, interesting weapons and armor on each one of them and I think the I think the bandits could play a pretty critical role in the mod uh, going forward uh, especially with the new weapon weaponry that I'm working on so I'm really interested to continue to drive forward that uh, part of the roadmap. So that along with continuous changes for the companions. So the companion systems in the game, it appears to be working. People are, are receiving the companions pretty well. I was actually really surprised by all the feedback that I've gotten on the companions. Uh, so one of the next steps that I wanna to try to take for the companions is giving them unique weapons uh, and personalities. Interesting. So, is it player appearances? That's the only other one I updated. And again, for it to crash out the mod like that, or the, the whole game like this, it's very interesting. I haven't actually seen this before. It's a lot of instability there. Um, 
So once those bandits get added to the game, I think that's going to drastically shift the gameplay and the game style. Um, I think that's one of the ones with the difficulty balancing that I'm going to have to continue to look at uh, because these guys would act as their own new threat in the game uh, that would be different than... It's got to be damage definitions. It's the only other one that got updated. Um, let's see if it's locations. Let me see here. No. Health definitions. Healing definitions. No. That was it. There it is. Okay. So the last one I pulled out was uh, damage definitions. So that one must have gotten scrambled when it was updated as well. Fun. Or not. Oh, I missed the chicken part. I got the egg. It's the chicken before the egg here. Thanks. Um, yep. Okay. A lot of needless workarounds here. Let's see if we can finally get in the game. And let's see here. Let's make sure everything is kind of lining up here. Collectibles. Great. Um, so, banded overhaul. Then there's the companions having unique personalities and unique uh, attributes. I would like to tr also try to make an inventory system for them. Uh, that one's been more interesting. I have a couple ideas for doing that. But th none of that stuff is really written in the game. Uh, that doesn't bode well. So let's go ahead and load even though I know it's broken. Get that syntax error hopefully. And um, I mean, let's just go ahead and pull this up and look again really quick while this is because if it copied that poorly, then God knows what else it messed up here. That was really weird with uh, Win Merge doing that. Um, That's fun. Yeah, definitely broken. Okay, so let's go back to logs really quick. Hopefully, syntax error. Come on, come on, come on. Pretty please. Yes, okay. Player appearances, 1970. Okay. Appearances. Nineteen seventy. Okay, let's just go pull that one up really quick. Player appearances. Nineteen seventy. Okay, what's it supposed to be? There's a closed bracket issue somewhere. Or an ID that got copied over maybe.
me see. I think it just got rid of mine. It did. <clears throat> There. Nutcracker. Everything else is good to go. Let's copy that over as well. Just shits and giggles here. Oh, there it is. Threw it on the end there with the last merge. Okay. And I think uh, someone was mentioning last time when I was doing the stream out, doing the tutorial, they mentioned doing Total Commander. I don't know, you know, what your, anybody else's experience is, but doing these like automatic merge systems and, and stuff like that, like it, it just, it, there's, I'm getting lucky here by getting syntax errors. Um, most of the time when working on the mod, there is no syntax errors. It's just something is broken. You don't know why. Uh, and so doing some parts of this by hand saves a lot of time. Trying to merge everything in automatically or, or trying to automate some of these processes kind of leaves you in the, in the unknown when you start to encounter issues and bugs can take more time than development by far. Um, and so I would say out of this, for this mod so far, I would say um, 75 percent of it if not more has gone to bug fixes while 25 percent's gone to new content um, but i could probably say the same is true of uh, of the dev team uh, for the game itself so Still got a bug. Not out of the woods yet here. Let's figure out what that's all about. Oh, that's fun. So often I get this new one um, that's occurred where it just basically floods it with this um, feature constraints bug. I actually don't know what's causing that. And in this case, it didn't give me an actual error here, but let me go back. So it was collectibles. Let me scrub this really quick. Just to make sure, especially down here at the end. collectibles, inventory, um, I know with this last time it was acting a little weird, so let's say copy to write and then hit save and see if that actually does anything. No. And inventory generic. Copy the right, and then down here it should have one. Yeah, those are all good to go. Save, um, fork. Let's check this really quick. 
nothing changed. Um, the other one was special. Copy that. Save. Nope. that and then the last one was weapon well I guess I already did that one so hmm all right, so with those changes, I don't think I actually made any changes there. Uh, I'm gonna take and copy everything back over and let's see if we can get a crash bug this time or a crash log with syntax error. So I tell you, this is, uh, so this is a good example of those bugs that um, something's happened with the inventory that it just doesn't make any sense and find out but the bows have been removed for now so I think that should be all the new content everything else is working just fine Hope it's not a safe game issue. There's no way there would be that many things with syntax bugs in there. So definitely have a syntax bug that's like through the whole thing. Okay. You'll see that every now and then I get this new error type. Let's see if it did it this time. Please give a syntax error, please, 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 please. Ah, oh, crap. <sighs> well, that sucks. Um, okay. So let's mo let's add those in, and then Ugh. night just got a lot longer. Hang on one second. Let's see here. Um, so if we close one of these, let's go to scripts. Let's go to let me. Think if there's anything else. There's the names. Everything else has been in. The bows are out. So, I'll start with. I mean, first, I guess, let me once again. Crawl these really quick.
it's got to be part of the inventory system. Still don't get why it's giving this discrepancy between the two. Okay. Inventory, inventory imports. Gen. There's a chance that hmm. prototypes. There's a small chance, so there there appeared to be some form of small glitch with the last version where there was like ammo. People were reporting that like the arrow ammo wasn't working correctly. Um, so let's go find that really quick just to help rule out some of these issues. So let's see, that's gonna be arrow. It's going to be backwards. Say, find next. So it's an inventory. So if inventory is messing up, then it would cause that. Let me go ahead and go into the mod. And let's go ahead and just delete inventory. I think inventory brings in a lot of these. So if inventory fixes it, then we'll know that it might be related to importing and exporting the different packages and then hopefully we can go package by package and rule that out. So the survival system, um, let's go ahead and talk about that while this loads, continue to work through this bug. So the survival system, uh, the food part is there, um, the water part is there. The thing that I'm looking at first is I'm trying to look at their infection system uh, to see if there's a way that I want to create a system that also wonder if this has something to do with like we determined that there's definitely a bug, right? Like there's no way that this is like a like a save game bug. Another freaking save game bug. Um, so with the survival system, I'm trying to, I'm trying to identify a system that already exists in the code 
to where it can constantly have a timer running um, and that timer be reset. Uh, there's currently the buff system, which adds something for a period of time, but that's not really, I don't think that's how I really want to do it. Um, because that's, I don't, I haven't seen a thing where it's like a negative buff. And so, although bleed is technically, no, because bleed gets added Okay. So definitely a syntax bug. Anything show up this time? Imports. I mean, I guess let's do imports in gen really quick. And then we'll also get rid of all the custom content. That should already be removed, though. Or, wait, 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 wait. Um, no, it shouldn't matter because it's not going to get pulled in. We'll put it back in really quick. There we go. But it's not going to actually get pulled in. Yeah, so with like the bleed system, that technically adds something for a period of time. That's a negative trait. Um, I'm still trying to look into a way that he had his hands. So maybe this worked. Um, I'm still trying to look into a system. The only other system that I can think of that does it is the infection system, which has multiple variables that gets fed into it. The problem is, is that it's hidden behind a module of code um, that I don't have access to. Um, and so I've been trying to study the infection system to see if there's any way that I can write a new module without a module being present to study. Doesn't really seem like it. Um, Oh, it's gonna have to do this every single time. Man, that's obnoxious. Okay. So let's go ahead and wipe out inventory and only keep the loot changes. And at least get to a point where we can confirm it's working. This actually might be a good thing because it means that the inventory that's pulling in all the new custom content is potentially not causing the issue because when I'm deleting that out of the game, that didn't fix it. The next one that I deleted was also imports, which is also a major one for the inventory system. And so the fact that deleting those two did not fix the problem means that it's something else very small and specific. Goody. We'll see. Trial by error. Error by trial. Um, so that's the status with the infection system, or not the infection system, but the survival system. Uh, really excited about that one. Um, probably the biggest thing that I've been trying to do is get all of this down into a, co a cohesive timeline. Uh, and so I've really been trying to uh, get a good time estimate worked out for each one of these features before promising um, due dates. <laughs> Um, 
Okay, so that fixed it. So it really is a very specific. Okay. All right. So we will add these back to the system. And that should import all my custom code. Um, I think it's going to require weapon, weapons definitions. And then I'll go ahead and start reviewing the differences between those files because if it really is in here, so it's got to be something stupid. I see that he has gloves on, so I think this worked. I have to do all those intros every time. Um, If this works, then this will be a vast majority of the custom content. But that's probably because it's missing something critical. Um, So if we get rid of these two, then that'll get rid of all the weapons. So the next update is going to be um, the roadmap, like I said, trying to set deadlines um, and trying to pace those out so that I can also account for the updates coming from the official team. And then uh, I'm also trying to work to put together a trailer for the mod so that more people are aware of the mod. Um, and for that, I will probably continue to ask if anybody has you know, videos or anything they, they would like to be part of the, the game. I haven't had as much time to play the game lately due to writing the content. Um, and so any type of videos or anything you'd like to contribute to the trailer, you know, that would be awesome. Thank you guys so much. And uh, I look forward to hearing from you guys on that one. might switch back to the other save game less things to click through here okay so putting in no weapons let me see if this is starting to spit any syntax errors No, but it did get inventory failure. It literally got inventory failure and it doesn't have a syntax. And then here's the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, 
that's annoying. Okay. So let's get rid of outfits and infected. And that way we will only have imports and in the inventory. Because that should bring in the new content. And then back to looking through here. So let me review really quickly at what the imports is bringing in. So, and then also we'll throw up there's other view. Cause I, I did run into this issue before with the weapons not properly importing. And I know I did set those up to where they are now importing this so let me go in here and say line that out and that out because weapons import use is doing that and then Gotta love updates, man. Okay, well, that wouldn't actually make sense either because the content being brought in by imports Any chance they, they didn't, because I just checked it. So imports doesn't have any new content. So what if we go in here to all of these, and we'll go ahead and say, Do the same. So 
So then if we upload this and this, They shouldn't actually be bringing any of those files in. Along with that one as well, but let's go ahead and launch. So this should only be the inventory file is customized. Everything else should be standard. This is gonna be something so stupid, I'm gonna be so annoyed. Um, it could still be one of the other ones. Let me go back and say, so again, I could have missed something. This happened previously where when merge did not immediately show me a difference. So if we go in here and we say differences between, let's go ahead and load this one. So we'll wipe out GUI just to make sure. I highly doubt it's the GUI that's causing that. And then outside of that, We got a model, player is moving. Okay, it's a good sign. Okay, so we're back up. So from here, let's then add back in the other modified files. So we'll add this and these, along with inventory stuff. Can't forget that. Let's go ahead and launch. And so this should not be currently importing any of the custom content. And then Potentially where they've lined out this bow? No. I don't think so. It's worth reviewing how it's done on the mod. Okay, so we're still, oh, wait, no we're not. Okay, so one of the files after that one caused it. So let's go in here and say, there's no way it's like inventory stuff. Oh, that's annoying.
I thought that one looked like it slipped through earlier. I put it back in there a second ago and I was like, wait a second, inventory stuff. Why does that have, like, why did I remove that? And then it's like, oh, I bet that's it. Updating. All for an Easter egg. An Easter egg grenade. <clears throat> Which, by the way, with this new event coming up, as always, people may have to play offline if they want to enjoy all the content. Sounds like uh, a lot of the custom weapons won't be working here soon, so probably hold off on releasing the bows until after this event is over. That'll give me time to balance things out. I'm guessing all the zombies are probably going to look like bunny rabbits for a little bit. Cool, man. Not cool. So we should be able to get rid of all of those. Add that. Go back. And I think that's the thing that's most annoying is that when it comes to missing code, um, like that could have very easily just had a line added somewhere in the engine that says it's missing a property or missing a value and then you could search for that value and then you'd find it and you'd be like, oh shit, I forgot to add that. There's nothing like that here. <sighs> just killed the last like probably 45 minutes because of one or three lines of code. All right. But that will probably be the last time I talk about features and updates while also trying to merge. Because it's, you know, it's one of those things where you got to keep your focus. Custom content come in. Guessing that means if I click here, rocking and rolling. Go in here, looks like things are working. Go in here and add inventory. Let's arrow, my next, max stacks. 
Interesting. So they're set to 99. It's interesting that all of those were blocked out at 60. That must have been the old one. Um, okay. I believe I'm going to go ahead and launch in one more time. Actually, let's check the logs. Make sure nothing else has popped in. Let's go and review these really quick. They should have gotten updated. I'm not sure why it's saying that. I thought they did. Huh. Well, my mistake. Let's go ahead and pull these up. Let's say. what I get for adding custom ones to each one. And then I know someone mentioned the other day World Burner is doing more damage. I'll actually look in here really quick. So on that log file, it was the flamethrowers and then what else? Flamethrowers. And sword para. Okay, which I think that is right here. Yeah. And that is going to be okay. So that should be all the items with versioning. And then lastly, let's go to scripts, damage definitions. needs to be something like
Okay, that should fix the fire issues. And then add that in there. Well, what we'll do is actually we'll say update 1.94c. Create. We'll go over here. Armor overhaul. Merge that in. Here, say three damages for Panthers. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and do the steps to get this update out. So thank you guys so much for joining the stream. Uh, went longer than I was hoping just due to this little bug. Uh, but you guys did see some of the bugs that I constantly encounter, how I mitigated those issues and went around to fix the problem, some of my troubleshooting, uh, and hopefully got some of my updates and changes. Uh, I'm sure some of that was distracted. So I will be doing an update uh, video here soon with more of the actual specific feature discussion, and I'll have a little bit more focus to pour into that. Thank you guys so much for joining. I look forward to getting back to you guys and uh, talking to you guys on the stream. Uh, it's been busy over here, uh, did move locations, and so life is starting to settle down just a little bit more, uh, but also lots of things still going on. So look forward to talking next time and stay tuned for more updates. Happy gaming, guys.